$1,000 for my brother's funeral, so I decided I'd go and rob a service station. Jesus. How, how did you rob it? I uh, went in with a shirt wrapped around my face like a balaclava and a combat knife. And yeah, just went in with a bag, uh, threw it at the person behind the counter and just said, put the money in there. But you're not doing that sort of stuff now, though, are you? No way, I haven't done anything like that since. Why have you chosen this opportunity? Um, <clears throat> my girlfriend's pregnant, um, got a little boy on the way, and I don't have a job at the moment. Um, to me, this is, well, this is a career I can pretty much fall back on for the rest of my life, no matter what happens. Well, I enjoyed that today. Yeah, good effort. Well done. You know, Thank you. thanks very much. Thank you. Right. Beautiful. He looks like he's going to be sick. I'm really keen. I'm really keen. I really want to do this from the bottom of my heart. I really want to do this. It looks like he's very nervous. They're all nervous. Well, I know, but if you're going into a service where you've got like 100 people there, you've got to be able to step up. Josh, the Kuna, let's have a chat. Not badly cooked. You can see he's put a lot of effort into it. Yeah. You know? It looks like he's very nervous. Josh, the Kuna, let's have a chat. You look sad. What's wrong? Um, all right, all right. Yeah. How long have you been out? Um, three months. You want to cook? Yes, I really want to cook. Really want to cook? Yes. Why? Because I'm now 25 and I've got nothing behind me. You know, it's nervy. Yes. And you know you're going to have to take criticism? Yes. And if I tell you you're going to have to use salt and pepper, you're going to have to go, yeah? Yes. OK. Well, everything is yes, chef. OK. What happened in your past life? What did you do? Assaults. Assaults? Yes. OK. You fiery? Yes. <laughs> but I'm mm. working on that. Can you take criticism? Yeah, I can. You can? Yep. I can also yeah. dish it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But sometimes, say, say a customer Customer's says... Customer's always right. Oh, yeah. You've done a really good job here. But there are a couple of issues and I'm worried about your stress levels. I'm just stressing out over today, that's all. Are you stressing because you want this so bad? Yes. This is my one M&M time shot, all right? OK. This is it. All right. I'm never going to get this again at all. So if you get this opportunity, I'm going to refer back to this moment, this, this moment right now where I say to you, this is your opportunity. If you stand in the kitchen with me and you say you don't want to do this anymore, I'm going to say, what about that moment? Because this is the moment. This, right? That's it. Like, yes. yes. OK. Yes. Oh, I'm happy. Lisa, where do we start? I think with a bit of fine-tuning, a bit of finesse. Yeah. I think she'll be fantastic for oh, the house. OK. This guy, he wanted it really badly. And that's what it's all about for me. I think she'll be good. This is an opportunity to have a normal life. I've, I stuffed up my young childhood years and I'm still paying for it now. It's going to be really difficult to let five people know that they didn't make it. It is very nerve-wracking, not knowing the decision that's going to be made. I am hoping they see the potential. Probably the only negative I would have, she didn't really have a great sense of urgency. No. I've blown nearly every opportunity that I've ever had. And this is just an opportunity to, to make something of myself, to, to do something with my life that's, that's meaningful. This is hard. For me, it's a no. I'm looking for people who are willing to change. I'm looking for people who are going to leave their criminal past behind them. I know it's been a really long day. Personally, I want to thank you for being so open with us today. We appreciate you sharing some truly difficult stuff with us. It's helped us understand why some of you are here, and especially why you need this opportunity. As I told you, we need 12 people to run this restaurant. Six on the floor and six in the kitchen. Today, I'm taking five and Lisa's taking six. I'm reserving the final spot in my kitchen team for somebody who's still behind bars. All you guys deserve a second chance. But we can't take all of you. We've had to make some tough decisions. Adrian and Anastasia, if you could please stand up. 
Together you cook the Asian stir fry with the prawns. Different. Adrian. Yep. I can't take you in the kitchen, mate. But Adrian, your attention to detail with that table, the amount of effort you put in, I'd love to have you as part of my floor team. Really? I think you'd be a fantastic member of my team. Thank you very much. Anastasia? Smiley personality, young. I'm going to give you a go, darling. Ah, oh, cheers. You'll be in my kitchen too. Thank you. Yeah. This is important just so I can prove something, you know, so I can, I can change my life around and I can do something with myself. James and Celine, please. You cook the pasta carbonara. James, you want to be in the kitchen? Yes. Unfortunately, mate, if you're cooking the pasta carbonara and you want to be in the kitchen, you can't forget the main ingredient. You've been unsuccessful this time, mate. Okay. Sorry, James. It's okay. Celine, you were very nervous, but we know how much you want this. Your attention to detail was superb. You were the only trainee who polished the glassware and polished the cutlery. And for that reason, I need you on my team. Thank you. Thank you so Thanks, much. Bobby. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. David and Mariana. I've got to say, neither of you wanted to work in my kitchen, which is good, because I didn't really want to eat that salmon either. Mariana, your grooming is very good. I think that you're very confident when you were addressing Chef and myself, and I believe you'll be very confident on the floor with customers. And for that reason, I'd like to have you on my team. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. you very much. Congratulations. David, your presentation is very good, and I know how much you want this. So I'd like to welcome you into my team. No worries. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Chef. Thanks very much. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Belinda and Troy. Troy, your, your nerves, mate. You're going to struggle. But I'm going to give you the opportunity. You're in my kitchen, but I'm going to be conscious of the fact how nervous you are. So, congratulations. Thank you very You're much. You're in. Belinda, how are you feeling? Very nervous. You've been a cop. You know what hard work is and dedication. I think with a bit of polish, you'll make it on my team. Oh, thanks. That's fantastic. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. Thanks. Kylie and Rebecca. When you made the chicken Caesar today, guys, you did work really well together as a team. Kylie? Your Caesar salad just wasn't there, Don. It was overcooked. There was a lot going on. Sorry, I don't have a place for you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I think I already knew that was going to happen. Deep down, I'm, I'm calm about this because I didn't present what I wanted to present. My opportunity's gone for today, but at the same time, you know, it's not over for me. The chef knows what he needs in this kitchen to make it work. I was very nervous. <laughs> but yeah, no, things, you know, things will work out for me. Rebecca, this opportunity is about everyone getting their lives on track. We have faith in you and we believe that you have your life on track and you're going in the right direction. So unfortunately, we don't need you on part of our team because you don't need us. Okay, thank you. Obviously, if I'm not needed here, I'm needed somewhere else. Christy and Anthony. To get the job would be a big fresh start and, and something that's going to set me up for the rest of my life, hopefully. Together you cook the fish with the aioli and the hand-cut chips. I've got to say, probably my favourite dish of the day. 
but Christie's tend to do everything. Yeah. And we've been discussing this like at great length, myself and Lisa. And we both decided we want you. But I'm the chef, so I get the first right of refusal. <laughs> so congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, Thanks very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Anthony, today, mate, you let Christy do all the work. And I thought that was disappointing. Anthony, 18 years old, kid on the way. You seem to me a bit lazy today, mate. And I'm concerned, but I'll give you the opportunity. I want you to get your life back on track. You step up, I'm watching you. Congratulations, you're in. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Takuna and Josh. Takuna, there was no sense of urgency when you were setting up the table. You guys were given a very specific time limit. You just don't seem like you wanted as much as everyone else. For that reason, I'm not selecting you as part of my team in the restaurant. Okay. You worry me, Josh. But the difference to you and with Takuna, you seem to me like you do want it. I really do want no. this, yes. Right. Like you said, this is your one shot, then I'll give you your one shot. But I will be on you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done. I thought I wasn't going to get through. I thought I was going. I thought I was walking out. And this means a lot to me. It means the world, actually. Last pair, Lisa, Craig. Craig. My first impression of you when you walked in was I thought, no, nah, it's not going to work straight away, first off. And you know what? After meeting you, I thought you did very well. But I went with an 18-year-old, and it's just the fact he's got a kid, mate. That's all it is. I'm sorry. You've been unsuccessful. I'm sorry, mate. But I, I really did struggle with this one. Oh, it's fine. Take it easy, mate. Thank you. Thanks for the chance, anyway. No, thank good you. Luck. Be good. Yeah. Bye. Lisa, you've had a very difficult time lately. I think your strength and determination will prevail, and I think that you'll be fantastic as part of my team. Congratulations. Thank you All very right. much. Thank you. Happiness hit her like a train you should be very happy, because this is the Conviction Kitchen team, and congratulations. Cheer yourself up. Beautiful. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Pleasure. Thank you, my man. Remember. OK, you'll get plenty of guidance. Fine, it's going to be really good. Well done. I've got 100,000 things going through my head at the moment. I feel like just jumping and telling everybody what's happening. But just trying to calm myself down. Real, still nervous, it's a bit shaky, but I'm in. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm pumped, as I can't wait. Let's get it started. <laughs> I was really nervous there at the last minute because I was keeping count in my head and I knew Craig and I were the last ones and I knew that one of us was going, so my heart started pounding when it was our turn to stand up. So, but I'm over the moon. Static. I want to tell my daughter the news. She's, um, I, I think she'll scream and probably have a big laugh with me and then she'll expect me to cook her something nice. <laughs> Yeah, hey, guess what? Guess what? I got through. I got picked, yeah, I got picked. Can you believe that? It's excellent, eh? In two weeks' time, we open to the public. And I can guarantee you there will be tears, but you know what you should do? You should actually go home, get some rest, because the hard work begins tomorrow. OK? Good night, guys. Thanks Good very night. much. Thank and you clap yourselves up. Thank you.